for centuries, today has been known as Holy Saturday, the Saturday of Holy Week. Yesterday, we commemorated the death of Jesus on the cross. Tomorrow, we shall joyfully celebrate his resurrection. Today, it's a sort of in-between time. We seem to be in limbo. We perhaps feel rather empty. I'm sure this feeling of emptiness is something a lot of people are going through anyway because of the pandemic. It's now three weeks since we started lockdown. Any element of novelty there was at the beginning has now worn off. The routines that we established to help us cope have become rather drab. The natural anxiety and bewilderment, fear even, are still there. In fact, they seem to increase as the virus spreads and takes its toll. Some of us perhaps feel that we're running on empty. This must be especially true for certain groups of people. Those doing 12-hour shifts in the NHS. Elderly people who live on their own and have no family or friends to support them. People who are physically or mentally disabled. And people who've already lost a loved one. But for all of us, anyway, it's a difficult time. One we won't want to repeat, I'm sure. We can feel drained of energy, of purpose, of hope. We may even find ourselves quoting Psalm 22, that psalm that begins with the words, My God, why? But it's okay to feel like that. We don't need to feel guilty or ashamed of it. It's a natural reaction. We know, in fact, that Jesus himself used that psalm as he hung there on the cross. St. Matthew's Gospel says he cried out using Psalm 22, verse 1, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Jesus had emptied himself, poured himself out, teaching the crowds, healing the sick, caring for the poor and marginalized, challenging religious cant and hypocrisy. All so as to show how far God will go to reassure us of his immense love for us. You may think it's slightly over the top of me to speak about Jesus emptying himself, pouring himself out. But just listen to these few verses from a letter written only 20 years or so ago, uh, 20 years or so after Jesus' resurrection. A letter written to some friends by a Christian from a prison in Rome. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave. Being born in human likeness and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. The writer was, of course, St. Paul, who had met the risen Jesus on the road to Damascus and devoted the rest of his life to spreading Jesus' good news throughout the Roman Empire until he was finally taken himself to Rome where he was tried and executed. Paul certainly had every reason to lose hope, to cry out, My God, why? Yet his central message in another of his letters from prison was Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what we shall celebrate tomorrow on Easter Day. But you know, lockdown isn't going to end just because it's Easter time. In the days and weeks to come, if you feel empty, drained, tempted to lose heart, if you feel like crying out, my God, why? It's because you're a real and honest human being, not some sort of plaster saint. And sometimes God allows us to touch rock bottom so that we might learn again how utterly dependent we all are on him for life, for love, for hope, for joy. Let's open our hearts to him. Allow him to fill us with his spirit. And let's echo the very last words of Jesus from the cross, words of trust and of love. Father, into thy hands 
I commit my spirit. Angela and I send you all of you much love and wish you a joyful Easter time and beyond.